With the push to produce more alternate fuel sources, the search is on for ways to keep corn on the table rather than in the gas tank. Looking beyond food crops, researchers say the biofuel of the future could be cellulosic crops, roadside grass, discarded grain stalks, and even simple table scraps. Those perennial crops need uh, far less input, less fertilizer, and less uh, crop protection because their root system uh, stays in the soil for a long time. And because of this uh, far lower inputs and also less farming operations that you need over time, they give a far higher net energy yield per hectare. So far, the cost associated with adding enzymes to the crops have been prohibitive, about 5 to $6 per gallon of fuel. But researchers say the benefits are worth it. If we uh, develop this type of resource base further in the first half of this century, we could even cover about one-third of the global future energy demand. The food versus fuel debate has pegged much of the blame for rising food costs on biofuel production. But some industry proponents disagree. All vegetable oils in the world, which is used for biodiesel production, you talk about one or two percent. And uh, again, also, if you look at the facts in terms of the, the rise in food prices and the drop in food prices that we saw over the last few months, uh, that has much more to do with speculation. The U.S. Department of Agriculture claims only a three percent increase in food costs can be blamed on biofuels, but a World Bank report puts that number much higher, about 70 to 75 percent. Producing biofuels without compromising food stocks will remain a challenge for some time, and progress is being made on cellulosic ethanol. Scientists at Michigan State University are looking at genetically engineering crops to produce their own enzymes. They hope that will bring the cost down to around $2 a gallon. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.